Hello and welcome back to my RC channel, I'm Andy RC and today's video is going to be all about Micro Drone 3.0. Now a few of you are asking in the comments of other videos, are you going to be checking out the Micro Drone 3.0 and honestly I hadn't heard of it, somehow this one had passed by me but of course I know about it. Now I went and did a search after people commented and it brought up this page here which is the Indiegogo website and it's like a Kickstarter website and I took a look at it, I looked at its features and I thought it was fantastic and I thought I'll probably get one when it comes out and review it on the channel. But then I did this video here which was use an iPhone to FPV and DVR and I got a message off a chap named Vernon who was very interested in what I had done here in getting very low latency FPV through an iPhone and it turns out that Vernon is actually the founder of Microdrone 3.0 and it goes a bit further than that as well actually. I've done a bit of research here after speaking to Vernon and he is also the founder of Extreme Flyers here which is a UK based drone company. Now it turns out that Vernon is actually a bit of an entrepreneur and if you go into the Extreme Flyers tab on their website Why Choose Our Toys you will see that he's actually been on a program on BBC2 in the UK which is Dragon's Den. If you're outside of the UK, you won't know what that is, but basically it's where entrepreneurs go and sort of put out their ideas to a bunch of rich other entrepreneurs and they sort of back that person. Um, they didn't choose to back him here, but I bet they're regretting it now because if we look at this Kickstarter style campaign, look at that. I mean, it speaks for itself. That is a crazy figure and congratulations to him for getting that funding. Now subscribers to the channel will know that I'm a massive micro quadcopter enthusiast so this project interests me greatly and I'm happy to see that this has been fully funded so congratulations to Vernon on that. So let's look at why I think this is such a great product with a lot of potential. So. Subscribers to the channel will note that I'm a big fan of swappable FPV gear and this takes it one step further. It's using magnetics here, magnetic connections, to connect the battery and also the swappable gear such as the camera so there's no wires at all which is just fantastic. Let's just scroll down and look at some more of that. This is what it looks like here. It looks very similar to the Ladybird quadcopter but I believe this came first now if you look at Vernon's background, he actually went over to China and learned Mandarin and then found connections and started designing aircraft which I think is a fantastic story and of course this Micro Drone 3.0 is a progression of that. So let's take a look at some of the features this thing is going to have. We've got auto leveling which is pretty much a standard these days but inverted flying that's becoming more popular with micro so I'm glad to see that it's got that. Flying 45 mile an hour winds. Now this thing is going to be really powerful I think so that's going to be cool range up to 300 feet so it's going to be using 2.4 gigahertz video now under video we've got live streaming video so first person view and headset display now this is going to be using the Google Cardboard option which is similar to what I was doing with my goggles so again something that we've got in common there that we like to see now this is the thing that I am probably most interested in, the world's smallest gimbal and we'll take a look at that in a bit because that looks really cool. Now editing suite I believe on the iPhone, so iOS, there's going to be an editing suite that you can do straight from your phone. We've got 720p resolution on the camera and social media integration. Now this is interesting as well, under design we've got expansion packs, you can actually take the arms off and make the quadcopter bigger, there's all sorts of options there, modular design technology, 3D printed customization, this is something that they're trying to promote, which is basically make your own 3D frame for the thing, you can do absolutely anything with it. Now this is another interesting feature, it's also going to have dual control. You can control it from the 2.4 GHz transmitter but also your phone as well which is something I've not seen before, I think that's an interesting thing to do. Now it mentions here as well that it will work on iOS and Android so that answers that question, will it work on both? Because I've only seen videos so far with it working on iOS so that's good to know. And this is a picture of it being used here with the Google Cardboard goggles and actually we have an Android phone there. 
Now this is a cool animation. This is showing how the camera fits on and the battery just magnets underneath there and it can be flipped around and it'll still work. I think that's a great idea. Now this is showing the expansion packs. You can see that the module in the middle stays the same, but the arms get longer and the props get longer. So I think that's really cool to offer as well. This is showing more on the 3D printed custom frames here. Now we've got another animation here showing how the battery connects and the camera all by magnets. I did actually speak to Vernon about this because I was worried that magnets would create RF noise, but they said it's not a problem at all. So that's really cool. I think if you gave me an FPV plate and some magnets, we'd end up with a fire at the end. So it's a good job I'm not in charge of that, but I think it's a fantastic idea. And actually on their Facebook group, there's a video showing how they manufacture all these, which is quite interesting. We'll get into that a bit later. Now here we go, this is the micro gimbal, and I think this looks absolutely fantastic. It folds away underneath, so it does protrude down here, but it does fold away for storage. I think it looks great. I've never seen anything like this before, and this is something that I've always wanted to exist, so I can't wait to try that out. Here's some more pictures of it, how it works there. The thing is absolutely tiny. According to this as well, you can live stream your videos on social media. That looks cool. Not sure how it will work, but I like it. Here is the editing suite that they're offering. So you're going to be able to edit your videos on the fly with your phone, which is cool. So let's take a look at some of the technical specs. The battery is only a 450 milliamp one cell battery. That's really small. And you're going to get a six to eight minute flight time with it. It's going to weigh 56 grams, which is about the same as the Hubson, and 71 grams with the camera dimensions and things like that. Six axis gyro, accelerometer. Uh, again, I really like this 45 mile an hour speed. I can believe that and you'll see why a bit later. Now this is interesting, there's a timeline here of the events and things like that, and if you look down here, because this isn't available yet, by the way, it says here that it's looking to ship to backers in November 2015, and retail distribution December, just in time for Christmas. Excellent. So you can also check out the Facebook group, that's facebook.com forward slash extreme flyers. I mean, look at that, they've got 15,000 likes. They have done such a great job on marketing this, and somehow I missed it. I don't know how, I apologize for that, but it seems a pretty big thing, this. So there's updates on the Facebook group giving more information, showing how the battery's going to charge, that's cool, and we've got videos and things like that. There's a video here showing how the magnetic connection works. Look at that, just fantastic, seamless. We've got videos about the gimbal here. You want to check that out. And this is also another video showing how the gimbal works. It uses tiny little motors. We've got another demonstration here of the gimbal working. Just amazing. Can't wait to see that. And here we've got all sorts of videos showing the process of making it, which is really cool. You don't usually get to see that kind of stuff. So I'm not going to stop the video there. In fact, Vernon said, why don't you check out the Micro Drone 2.0? It's the predecessor to this, but it's still a really good quadcopter. And it'll give you an idea of what the new one might be like. So he's very kindly sent that to me. So let's go and check it out. Okay, so here's the Micro Drone 2.0 Speed Edition. So let's see what you get in the box. First of all, we've got this nice glossy manual. And even though that this is made in China, it is a UK product. So we've got some nice clear instructions for a change, which is really nice. Okay, we've got the quadcopter itself, and as you can see here, it is very similar looking to the Micro Drone 3.0. Now, this is the non-camera edition. You can buy one with a camera as well, but I was just sent this to see how I thought it flew. Now, on this version of the quadcopter, I have received the black propellers are on the front of the quadcopter. Also, the battery connector shows the front of the quadcopter too. I think these motors are 7mm. I can't confirm whether on the Micro Drone 3.0 they will be 8.5mm, but that seems to be the standard for these Micro Drones these days. So, that's the quadcopter. Let's see what else we get in the box. It's very nicely packaged, this. We've got this bag of bits here, which contains extra props. It's got a charger and the battery too, which is 300 milliamps, 25C. 
And then, of course, we have the transmitter here. Now, it only comes in mode 2 and mode 4, but as you can see here, I have converted it to mode 1. I've done my little trick. If you check out my channel, I've got a video showing how to convert toy grade transmitters to mode 1. So, where it says that it's mode 2 and mode 4, it's actually going to be mode 1 and mode 3, I think. So, I'll just take you through all the different switches on the transmitter before we get flying. Of course, we've got the mode switch, which I already explained. It's going to be mode 1 on this transmitter. Then we've got the flight mode switch, where you can see it says standard and stunt mode. So, your standard mode is your auto level mode. But one thing I should say about this speed edition is it is really, really snappy. You know, I wouldn't say it was twitchy, but it's designed to be really fast and agile in the air so I'm not sure it's for beginners this one I certainly uh, managed to throw it around the sky quite a bit and I like my throws uh, really sort of high so yeah that's one thing to bear in mind but then we've got the stunt mode here and what that is it's the same as the standard mode except when you get to the edge of the resolution of the sticks it's gonna perform a programmed flip so it's not going to flip all the way over from you pushing the stick when you push it to the edge, it's going to slowly lift up and then flip over. So, it's not a complete acro mode. It's a programmed acro mode. But I was still able to have fun with it. Of course, you have to be really careful that when you've finished doing your maneuvers, if you are in that mode and you still push it to the edge, it's going to continue to flip. So, um, I didn't find that too much of a problem. So, we've got this function switch as well. I don't think it does anything on my version, but I think if you've got the camera version, it's going to start and stop your recording. We've also got the trim functions as well. So, if the quadcopter's drifting slightly, you can adjust it so it hovers more stably. Let's turn it on, and you've got this LCD display here. It shows you the battery monitor down there. And also, if we have a look, you do need to provide these. It takes four AA batteries. Now the battery plugs in really easily here, it just fits in this little pouch underneath there, and actually it does fit just about the 500 milliamp battery from the Hubson X4. It's a bit of a squeeze, but it does go in, and this is what Vernon is trying to do away with with the version 3.0. This is a lossy connector, and it just plugs in there like that, but on the 3.0 version, it's just going to clip on underneath. It's got really bright LEDs, this thing. So, what we need to do to bind it to the micro quad is we need to turn on the transmitter, and this is very similar to other micro quadcopters, in that the transmitter is disabled and you have to lift up the throttle and lift it back down to enable the transmitter. See, and then it actually binds to the quadcopter, so it wasn't even bound there. And I think now, if we lift the throttle, there we go, it's going. So, let's go and give it a fly and see how it handles. I've got my GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition strapped to my head, and Luke, we've got a beautiful sunny day. We have had awful weather all year, but for some reason in October we're getting the best days that we've had all year, so who knows. Anyways, I'm flying around the garden here, but because it is October, I'm afraid the sun is quite low in the sky, so apologies for the lens glare that you'll have periodically through this. So let's get into the flight characteristics of this thing. First of all, you can see there I've got the blue battery connected underneath. That's the Hubson 500 milliamp X4 battery, and this thing is extremely agile. I don't think it's for beginners, this. It's really sensitive on the sticks, and straight away, I have gone into the sort of acro slash stunt mode here, and the way that it works is when you get towards the edge of the sticks, it does a pre-programmed flip, so it's not a complete proper flip, but as you can see there though, in forward flight, you are able to sort of do rolls and things, which you can't really do with the Hubson, never been a fan of how the Hubson does rolls and flips, and that is you move the control to its extreme, so let's say the extreme left, and then move it quickly to the right, and it does a, a very sloppy flip, so not a fan of that. But this one, I'm happy to say, is really nice, and it's really nice to fly around in the garden. And here we go, I sort of got carried away with the flips, but you can see there, when you input the stick, it sort of gains a little bit of height before it performs the maneuver, but it does it so fast, it doesn't really need a lot of height. It's got a really good flip mode. I think probably one of the best flip modes I've seen in a quad that's 
pre-programmed anyways so hopefully the camera can follow me here while doing all these flips I'm gonna zip around the garden but this thing is just so fast I nearly hit myself there <laughs> it's so fast and when they say the micro drone 3.0 can hit 45 miles an hour I can believe it because I think this one might as well just look at the pull on this when I put the sticks fully up the throttle fully up it just rockets into the sky and you can still see those leds there just slightly so even in bright sunlight you can see when the lvc is gonna kick in and there we go got another power shot there and then a flip right at the top this thing it can flip all day even when it's down to its lvc it has no problems flipping some quadcopters when they get to the lower end of the voltage on the battery they really struggle not this one maybe it's because it's really lightweight and got loads of power to weight ratio so sort of on the battery life with the stock 300 milliamp battery i think i got an eight minute flight and with the blue 500 milliamp battery bear in mind it wasn't a new battery this i got a 10 minute flight so absolutely great performance out of that so i think if you added say the gimbal to it and the camera you'd probably get about a six minute flight i think i nearly lose it here <laughs> sort of lost orientation of it there with the the light and my depleting flying skills yeah but just zipping around the garden here just absolutely loving it the thing is just really fast um, it, it's a really good platform to sort of show what the micro drone 3.0 is going to be like and I'm really looking forward to that so there you go that is my video on the micro drone 3.0 and also the 2.0 test flight thanks so much for watching please continue to subscribe cheers